everyone. Today we have the installation of the Edge Revolver 6 position chip on a 99 Ford Power Stroke. Let's get this chip out of the box. First, we have the wiring from the PCM to the switch, the scrub pad to get the connection really clean, an alcohol wipe, and a few zip ties so you can secure the cord in your dash. Now we'll get the chip itself out of the package. If you notice, the package is really nice to protect from any damage during the shipping process. And last but not least, the switch itself that will be mounted onto your dash. Edge also provides a user manual with detailed instructions and their customer service contact number in case you have any issues. First thing you want to do when you start the installation process is disconnect both batteries completely. That way there's zero chance of any electrical problems happening. And we fast forwarded a little bit on this side because hopefully you guys know how to disconnect a battery. Now you will need to get the bolt that is holding the wiring harness to your PCM loosened up so you will be able to pull out your ECU box on the interior of your truck. This part can get a little tricky as the bolt is in a tough spot. Here's a quick shot of what it will look like when you get the bolt loosened up. Now let's move to the inside of the truck. You're gonna to wanna to locate your ECU box. There will be two bolts on the case that you will need to loosen to get the box out. Get those bolts loosened up, pull the box out, and now we're ready to install the chip. The first thing when you get the box out is that you will wanna pop out the cover on the back of the box. You will not be reinstalling this, so go ahead and set that to the side. Now that you're in, you will have full access to the PCM. Grab your scrub pad and start scrubbing off where the chip will be installed. You're going to want to make sure you get this really clean, so please take your time. If you don't get a clean connection, you will fry your PCM. As we were cleaning this, we really had to do some serious scrubbing. There is a lacquer on the computer that you have to completely clean. We spent probably a good 7 to 10 minutes scrubbing on it. And there it is all clean. We also went ahead and got the cord connected to the chip and also to the switch. Both sides of the cord will click right into place. Once you get it clean, take your alcohol wipe and get all of the extra debris off. You might notice that there's still some lacquer on there so you may have to scrub a little more. We can't stress enough on how important it is to get that clean. All right, now that everything is cleaned off, we are ready to connect the chip. Slide that right in and it should click into place. Now it's time to cover up that big old hole in the box. Edge wasn't super clear with what to do with the sticker they did provide, so we improvised a little bit and grabbed some scissors. We figured we would feed the sticker through the cord, so we unhooked the switch from the cord. That way we wouldn't have to cut such a big hole in the sticker. We cut a slit, peeled the backing, and fed the cord back through. Doing it this way allows our cord to move freely. Also, make sure you get a good stick on with that sticker. Go ahead and hook the switch back onto the cord. We also realized to get the ECU box back into the case, we were going to have to drill into the case to feed the cord through. Make sure when you guys are drilling this hole that 
the drill bit that you use is big enough to fit the end of the cord through. Check out that sweet spin move. Once you've got the hole drilled and the cord fed through, now it's time to get the box back on and you're ready to get this back into your truck. Make sure you get it lined up. Tighten the bolts back up. And now just take the switch and feed it through your dash. It's totally up to you where you want to mount the switch. There's a couple different flat areas on your dash that you can use. Just make sure you mark where you want to drill and go ahead and grab a drill bit. If you don't want to make any permanent changes to your dash, you can just tuck it under your steering column. Remember though, you will have to use the switch to change through the different tunes. As you guys can see, there's a little extra kind of notch on the switch that has to come through the dash. So we had to take it back out and make the hole just a little bit bigger. All right, I think that's good enough. Now make sure you get the switch number sticker on your dash and then you can mount the switch. When you push that through, there's going to be a nut that you will need to tighten onto the switch to hold it into place. It looks like here it was hand tightened and then he grabbed a socket and really really made sure that it was tight. If this doesn't stay tight, there is a chance that your switch could fall through your dash. Once the nut is secure, you just press the button on. Once the dial is on, make sure the notch is turned to the one position. You will need an Allen wrench to tighten the dial onto the switch so you can turn from position one to six. Now it's time to hook up your PCM and the batteries. Make sure you don't forget this step or unfortunately you'll run into this mess where your truck won't start. Uh. All right guys, that was the installation of the Edge Revolver six position chip on a 7.3 liter power stroke. The installation was in depth, but not too terrible. So make sure you follow the instructions and use this video to help. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on cool new products, giveaways, and installation videos. As always, if you have any questions or if you've installed this chip, give us a call or check out MidwestAftermarket.com.